Welcome to this video tutorial in which we're going to explain how the mouse cursor loading bar works. Uh, when you hit play, you will be able to move uh, this cursor here that you can see. Okay. And uh, interact with the boxes. So whenever you go in, into the load box, you'll be able to create that mouse effect. Okay. In which you are loading and then an action is triggered. Same thing occurs with the unloading. So when unloading, you will see how the, the loading bar is going from the maximum value to the minimum value, and then an action is also performed. And then we have the looping um, effect in which what we are doing is rotating the, uh, the circle in order to give that loading effect that you can use when changing from one scene to another etc. I'm going to show you how to use that. So if you go to where the script is, that is cursors, we have added a sim loading um, variable that you can modify. Okay. So in fact this sim loading variable is just to show you the time that for example it, it takes to load something into your game. So when it gets to 100, you will see how the action is performed, okay? So you can see that the value now is 100 and the loading bar doesn't appear. But if I go and say we, the loading it's not 100, then the loading bar starts rotating and rotating, okay? So this is the main functionality that we have added to this package. We have also created a second scene in which we do exactly the same thing, but we have changed uh, some colors and we have changed also the loading um, the loading bar. So now the loading bar is different, as you can see, has that um, that effect. that's like lines instead of a circle, okay, and works in a similar way, okay. So uh, as I said before, if you go to the to the main cursor um, sim loading variable and you put it to 100, the loading bar will disappear and the action will be performed. Okay. So how these things work? Um, you have the circular trigger um, actions here inside the cursors. The cursor is just a small hub that if you go to the editor mode, you will see what it does. It follows the, the camera view, as you can see, okay? So it's, it's following the camera view, okay? And it's facing the camera all the time. You can see it over there, okay? Here, you can see it here, this point here. So it has a cursor that is the, is the hand and then the loading bar that is the, the image that uh, changes into a fill, fill amount, okay? Okay, you can see how by changing this value here, okay, you have the filling amount in fact. Okay, then um, inside the cursor um, function, you have uh, the start value, the end value, and the current value. So this is just for changing the values of, and, and the colors of the of the um, of the loading bar. So you can see how easy it is to change the colors into your personalized uh, values. Okay. Then you have the reference to the loading bar's mm, image here, and then you have the initial end value. It's between zero and one. The last and the value, the current value, so now has a current value of zero and then has a current value of one. Okay, then selected game object um, that it's used to trigger the functions. Okay, so in the script, when we do the pointer enter event, let me put this like this. Secret trigger, we have the point enter events that are going to be uh, 
prepared to load, for example, this is called whenever we do like the pointer event, we select our game object as the one that is referring to at that moment. And then what we're doing is starting a quarter time in which in this case we're simulating the loading effect and then we create a pointer sub submit data. Okay, so in the pointer submit data, what we're doing is saying, okay, if you are on top of the loading object that is here, okay, you are calling to the submit function that in this case it's the action change render green. So that's why whenever I'm on the loading box and I stay until the loading bar uh, gets to the maximum value, the actions here are performed. So what are the action scripts? The action script is just a simple um, function group of, of, of uh, actions that um, contain, in this case, the change render green, red, gray, yellow, etc. And it's a place in which you can add your own stuff. For example, let's say, let's say that we want to add a vertical velocity to uh, the object whenever uh, the loading bar gets to the maximum. Okay, so we're going to say public void vertical velocity, and here we're going to say um, um, get component rigid body. Okay, um, point velocity equals to new vector three. 0, uh, 5, 0, okay? So we have added this new function, that is the vertical velocity, and what we have to do is go to um, the, uh, the loading object, that is this one here, okay? As I said before, and inside of this loading object, what we're going to do is to change to change the the trigger event here that is paired to load and we are going to add okay um sorry in the submit 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 okay in the submit here we're going to add the action script and inside of it we're, we're going to find the um the vertical velocity okay so let's try it okay so you can see how how it's interacting now, okay? So that's the main idea. Um, the, the actions are just a small script in which you can add your own stuff and then refer it to the, to the pointer events that you're going to set into your objects, okay? So an object like loading, unloading, or loop has always the pointer enter, the pointer exit, and the submit. In the pointer enter, what we're going always to say is the prepare to load, or the prepare to unload in the circuit trigger. We have the prepare to load, prepare to loop, or prepare to unload. So we have those three options here. Then the pointer exit, Okay, we have the ac actions ch uh, change render to gray, which means that whenever we are uh, quitting the object, the mesh is going to become another time gray. That's what, what is happening when I'm doing this. I wait until it's loaded and then I go back and the, the render is getting gray again. And then you have the cancel loading inside of the cursors actions okay in here you have the cursor then the move cursor then stop all coroutines or you can say cancel uh, in secretary or sorry cancel loading 
So whenever you are calling the cancel loading, what you are doing is stopping the current times and setting the um, the loading bar to zero. Well, okay, as you can see, we stop the the current time and we set the loading bar to zero. So that's all regarding this package. I hope you like it. You can uh, easily change the the um, the cursor type by going to the hub and say, okay, we don't want the hand, we want a circle pointer, and we have also uh, uh, a circle pointer, okay, for the loading bar, and you will have something like this. So you can see how easy it is to change and personalize your your pointer, your cursor, and the loading bar. Okay. So thanks for watching.